Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and I'm excited to share with y'all a tutorial for editing 360 degree spherical, also commonly referred to as VR, or uh, simply 360 degree video within Final Cut Pro 10. Now this was a big year for Apple. Apple released the iMac Pro, but something that they may not have put in the spotlight as much as the iMac Pro is the huge update to Final Cut Pro 10 to 10.4 that we're in right now. Also Apple Motion and Apple Compressor. Now the coolest feature that Final Cut Pro 10.4 brought to the table is the ability to edit 360 degree video. Now this is a video clip that I filmed a while back with a somewhat entry level 360 degree spherical camera. You can find that camera, check the link within this video's description, I listed it there. But what was interesting there for a while we saw all these 360 cameras hitting the market but people including myself they bought them and it's like okay I've got the tool but where's the software to edit what I film with the hardware it just didn't exist so fortunately I was forward thinking enough to film some hopefully very good content and be able to edit it when the editing tools arrived if they arrived you know is this going to be a technology like we've seen some popular things in the past, in the past where they just fizzle out before they really flourish. But I think now with Final Cut Pro 10 being able to edit VR content, I think we're going to see a surge in the popularity of VR. And, and again, I'm an early adopter. And I was an early adopter, and then I kind of abandoned it because, abandoned it rather because I was, uh, you know, I was limited what I could do. I mean, I just took. Without having Final Cut Pro 10, I could do what I could do on my smartphone and upload it, but it had a horrible audio and it just wasn't good. So let's go through this. I've created a project called Captain Irish Sky Explores Pinnell Island in 360 degrees. So that's where I filmed this. Very cool place. And now I've got this video clip. You can see it looks really funny uh, because it was filmed in 360. So I drag it into my project. And automatically detects the settings, which is nice. It says 360 degree, 3840 by 1920, 30p, 360 degree monoscopic, Apple ProRes 422, standard recording 709, stereo 48 hertz. Okay, I'll hit okay. So now you can see I've got that down here in my in my project. Now it looks kind of funky right now. It's stretched out. It's not. We're not viewing this in 360 degree. We're going to get to that in a little bit. So what we're going to do first is let's go to a part of this clip where we can see, okay, there's grass, there's ocean. This camera, obviously, as I mentioned, is, is very uh, entry level, but it works. And, and again, check the link within this video's description. You can find the, the camera that I used there. I mean, it's, it works. It's not the best quality, but it works. So to make it look better in Final Cut Pro 10, let's go to colors, let's go to saturation, and keep an eye on the water, keep an eye on everything around me. Now look, when I bring the saturation down, it makes it kind of black and white. That's not cool. I mean, if, if that's the type of video look you want, it could be cool. But I want to make the colors more vibrant, more saturated. So see right there? If I go way to the top, that looks phony. But if I go about right there, that's cool. We're getting really nice greens. We're getting nice blue sky, nice water. It's kind of a light blue, so I'm going to stick with that. So I've adjusted the saturation. The next thing I'm going to do is cut out, uh, I'm going to detach audio, because the internal audio with the wind blowing on the top of this island was just horrendous. So I'm going to take that out, and we're going to put in some royalty-free music. I'll just grab something from YouTube Content Creator Audio Library. If you haven't checked it out, it's a great resource within YouTube for downloading royalty free music. So I put that in there. I'm going to adjust the volume level so it doesn't blow people's ears out. See that yellow and that red right there? I'm just going to go down till that disappears. So now I've got a soundtrack to it. You can hear that. Um, now we're going to add a title. Since this is a 360 degree, Final Cut Pro 10 now has 360 degree title. So we can choose which type of effect we want. That's kind of cool. It, it, surges in and out. So I'm going to use that one. I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to make it a little bit longer duration than the default. And then we're going to change the text and we're going to say, oops, 
Captain, Irix guy, Spores, Pinnell, Island in 360 degrees. So there we go. So now, when this video starts, it shows the title and then that title goes away. It's got the soundtrack, none of the mic noise from the camera, which is great. I'm going to make this audio last the dur complete duration of the clip and fade out. So now, you know, we could go in and add further enhancements to the video. Motion's got some 360, Apple Motion, which I also have, and I'll go into that in a later video. It's got some 360 degree uh, video editing tools in it now. And obviously Compressor, the tool that most people use to compress their video before YouTube upload, it's got some 360 degree features in it. But I'm gonna post those videos as I learn more about it. This is only the second video that I've edited in 360 within Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm just getting my feet wet. But with that being the case, there's probably a lot of people, including yourself, that may be like, hey man, how do I edit VR in Final Cut Pro 10? So I hope this video is helping you. This is just the part of many videos. And check the link within this video's description. And again, you, you'll be able to find a link to this video, Captain Iron Sky Explores Pinnell Island in 360 degrees. So if you watch it in Google Chrome or uh, or other compatible web browser, uh, you'll be able to experience it in 360 degrees. So, you know, you can look around in all directions. It's not going to look all stretched wide like this. It's going to look 360 degree. And again, you can find the camera that I use there and then also the, the computer and all that stuff. But yeah, let's go ahead and, and send this out. Now, traditionally, I would use Compressor for my video projects. I do for all my 4K and 1080p video projects. I send them to Compressor. I use a video sharing setting and, and it makes a reasonably small file size, but the quality is still great. But for the sake of this tutorial, now that we've applied our edits, we're simply going to save this to the desktop. So I'm going to go to File, I'm going to go to Share, and I'm going to share the master file. 954 megs estimate, estimated. That's not too bad file size. So we're going to hit Next and we're going to save it to the desktop. Now this will probably take, depending upon your speed, the speed of your Mac, you can, you can see here it's 1% right now, 2% counting up. This may take a minute or so, but once that finishes, it's important to note that you've got to, uh, you've got to perform an additional step. Because this video, simply exporting this video, this 360 degree content that we've edited within Final Cut Pro 10, Simply editing and exporting does not make it 360 degree when it's uploaded to YouTube. We've got to go into a, uh, once this file exports, we've got to run this exported file through a, uh, let me tell you what it's called. It's called a spatial media metadata injector. That sounds really fancy, but at a high level, all it does, it embeds, it injects. You know, think of an injection, like getting shots and stuff it injects the video with the appropriate code to enable people's Google Chrome, their smartphone, other compatible browsers to experience the video in 360 degrees. So we're going to do that here in just a second as soon as this exports. It's at 40% right now. Um, you can, and again, check the link within this video's description because I've got a download link for the spatial media metadata injector. At the time of posting this video, it was a free download for me. Will it continue to be free? You know, one can uh, uh, one can only speculate there. So, uh, but it was free at the time of doing this. But I'm just, I mean, with having these features in Final Cut Pro 10, it's potentially a game changer, and it's it's the stall. So, camera, the hardware came out before the software. A lot of people, including myself, were getting the VR cameras, and it's like, man, this is awesome. This is game-changing. But then it's like, but what do I edit it with? There was nothing. I mean, some of the cameras came with a, you know, a, a very uh, simplistic VR editing app. Mine, for example, didn't even come with the ability to, uh, to mute the audio in the video. At least I... 
it, it, <laughs> it would have been halfway decent if I could have just taken it, to, you know, taken it off of the VR camera and uh, had no audio, but I didn't have a way to remove the audio from the uh, video that I recorded. And that's why I'm just now editing. I'm excited to just now be editing this VR footage that I filmed a while back because now I've got the software to do it. So uh, we're at 91% right now. It's almost finished exporting, but I'm hoping this will reinvigorate VR because I think I've been an early, I was an early adopter, an extremely early adopter of VR, and I want to be a strong advocate of VR uh, going forward because I think it's a really cool next step for camera technology, especially if, you know, if you, if you can imagine once the, uh, once the video quality of VR cameras catches up with our traditional cameras, how awesome it'll be. It's not as crisp and saturate and as saturated now as it's what we get with our standard cameras, but you know, like any other technology, it'll evolve if people continue to use it. So now that export completed. So we've got a spatial media metadata injector. Here it is. Very simplistic interface. All I do is hit open. I go to my desktop where that uh, Final Cut Pro 10 export went. You can see it's 956.5 megs, not too bad. Didn't run it through compressor or anything. That's what I want to explore in future videos is which compressor settings could I use to create smaller, more manageable file size for these uh, 360 degree video clips to be explored. Uh, so we're going to just click open. And now you can see by default, it select it put a checkbox or check mark rather beside my video is spherical, 360. So that's what I want. And then I will click inject metadata. Ding! Injecting. And I'm going to put in the front of the file name injected. So I know it's been injected. And I'm going to click save. And it says successfully save file to injected. Captain Irish Guy Exports Penel Island in 360 degrees injected. Dot MP4. So we got that. That step is done. I can exit the spatial media metadata injector tool. And now what we can do, and this is another program, and, and I downloaded it just to kind of preview before I upload to YouTube. It's called Color Eyes. And there's probably a newer version of this. This is something I installed a while back. Again, I was an early adopter. But what this should enable me to do is open uh, open that video to preview it. Let's do that. So we'll do the inject again, the injected one. Oh, look at that. See, now I'm looking around in 360. And you can see the title there, Captain Iron Sports Sports Penel Allen in 360 degrees. Look at that. I can look up. I can look down. You can see me holding that in my hand while I'm walking around this island. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute that audio so... So yeah, this is just a great way to preview and see in any direction. If I want to continuously look forward, like I was looking as I was walking, I can do that. But what if I want to look directly behind me while I'm walking forward? I can do that. What if I want to look down at my beer gut? I can do that too. What if I want to look over to my right shoulder? Well, I can do that. What if I want to look straight up at the sky and the sun? I can do that also. This is why 360 degree also known as spherical or VR, is a game changer. Again, we're not getting the, the image quality that we're getting with other cameras yet. But if people continue to embrace VR video, this could be the future. Not just for YouTube videos like this, but this could be the future for all sorts of industrial applications, etc. And I, I really do feel that there is a solid future for VR. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you're like me, you're excited to get your hands around it. The first true, in my opinion, the first true video editing tool for VR content. And I mean, I love Final Cut Pro 10. been using it for many years, but now I can use it for VR. And I do have a, um, it's not a super high-end camera by any means, but I do have a more capable 
VR camera that's coming. So I'll be posting a lot of content from it. Be posting a ton of uh, of Final Cut Pro 10 VR editing videos. Within this video, obviously, I just scratch the surface. I mean, I this is the second video that I've edited within Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm still learning all of the uh, all of the features that I have in my hands. So I mean this this is cool. This is wow. Wow it is. So tell me what you think. Again, check the link within this video's description. You can find the camera that I use to film this. You can find the uh, the link to download this spatial media metadata injector. I'll put a link in there if this is still downloadable, colorize the, the thing I'm using to preview this with. Wow. And you'll be able to find a link to the video on YouTube because I'm uploading this video to my YouTube channel in 360, so you'll be able to watch it there. Man, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I really am, as you can tell. I am, I am thrilled that this worked, that it was as painless as a process as it was. Curiously enough, um, it doesn't seem that this spatial media metadata injector functionality is built into Final Cut Pro 10, but if it is, that would better streamline the workflow. If there was a way to export directly from Final Cut Pro 10 or Compressor in a format that's YouTube ready, that would be great. So stay tuned. I'm going to try to find a solution for that. But this is how I did it. Tell me what you think and be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash Irix guy. Yeah. I'm going to stop this recording now. Y'all have a... Ooh, who's that? Some ladies walking by. They're like, that's Captain Irix guy. Yeah. <laughs> Got my drone on my back. Look at that. Big pimping. Hey, y'all. Irix guy here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.